Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I want to talk to you guys about why it is so hard for you to start your adoption. Maybe God has been stirring in your heart for a while that you need to adapt, meaning you just need to open up your home to children who need a home. Or maybe you've actually started taking steps, you know, like you're researching, you're trying to figure out how to do it. And in this video, I want to tell you why you are stuck and why it's so hard for you to actually start your adoption. But before we get started, I want to let you know that I have a very very special announcement for you at the end of the video so do not miss it it's going to be so powerful it's going to be awesome and also if you guys didn't know i hosted last week a five day time to adapt prayer with worship challenge i know that's a mouthful basically we prayed <laughs> We prayed for foster care and adoption, and we specifically prayed for families who have already adopted and families who are desiring to adopt. We prayed for families who are fostering and families who are desiring to foster. We prayed for children in foster care, children in orphanages. We also prayed for families who are looking for healing from infertility and who are struggling with infertility right now. for families who have a desire to foster children out of Psalm 68 verses 5 and 6. A father to the fatherless, a defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God sets the lonely in families and he leads out the prisoners with singing, but the rebellious live in a sun scorched land. So God, I thank you that you are a father to the fatherless. God, I thank you that that is what you call yourself. So God, I thank you for families who actually have a desire to foster. I thank you, God, for the, for the Father's heart that you've placed inside of them to be a father to the fatherless. It was a really, really powerful time of prayer. And Emily actually testified after we prayed for her that they had breakthrough in their adoption journey. So if you were not able to be with us last week and watch those lives, go to the playlist tabs after you finish watching this video and click on the prayer with worship challenge and you'll see all the replays right there, okay? All right, guys, let's get into the video. Why is it so hard for you to start your adoption journey? Well, the first reason why is because there is a lot of information out there. If you've been doing research for any amount of time, you've probably seen by now that if you go on Instagram and YouTube, Facebook, Google, there's a lot of information about how to adopt, what adoption is like, the price of adoption, the different places that you can go to adopt. And quite honestly, it's really hard to figure out how that information is gonna work for you, right? Because just because, you know, Sally and Tim used XYZ process for their adoption does not necessarily mean that it's gonna work for you. And so it is hard to decipher through all the information out there and figure out what's best for you. So I just wanna let you know that you are not crazy. <laughs> there is a lot of information and it is really hard to figure out what to do. I am an adoption lawyer. I've been doing adoptions now for seven years. And when I Googled adoption, I was overwhelmed by all the information out there, okay? So it's not you, I promise. There really is so much information that it's hard to figure out what really fits with your specific family, okay? So that's the number one reason why it is hard for you to figure out where to start. The second reason why it is really hard for you to start your adoption is because the adoption industry is messed up. It just is, it's really messed up. In this video right here, I'll go into detail why I believe the adoption industry needs a major overhaul. You can go watch it after this video. But there is a lot of inflation going on with pricing when it comes to adoption. And most people don't like the idea of shelling out so much cash just to not be able to adopt, right? And I know that it's one of those things where it's hard because mom always gets to make the final decision, of course, but the adoptive parents are spending so much money and can potentially lose all that money and not have a child. And so it's just a really hard thing. I just don't think that the process as we have it right now works for any other parties. I don't think that mom should be pressured to make a decision because adoptive families spend all this money for her to, you know, pay for her medical expenses and paid all these things for her. And I don't think that adoptive parents should be uh, bearing the burden of spending so much money financially just to not be able to bring a baby home. So I think on however you look at it, the way that the adoption industry is set up right now, I think it's completely messed up. And I think that we need a major overhaul, okay? If you want to adopt from foster care, it's even more difficult because from state to state, the rules change. So you may try to adapt from foster care from Idaho and they may work really well with you and the process may go quickly. But maybe you live in Florida and the state there is just, I mean, 
mean people don't return your phone calls you've been trying to adopt this kid for a year and so state by state the foster care adoption um, world is just insane and just adoption in general all over America is really hard because the states are different with their adoption rules adoption laws and all the things that you can or cannot do okay so that's the number two reason why it's really hard to know where to start with your adoption process number three reason why it's hard for you to start your adoption journey is because it's hard to know where exactly to invest um, I'm sure that relates with you right maybe you've looked up you know maybe you live in Kansas City I don't know in Missouri and you've googled you know adoption agencies in Missouri and you see like what 50 come up let's say how do you know which one to choose right it can be so overwhelming like do you go through their websites read through all their information do you call all 50 agencies and then even if you do call the 50 agencies how do you know what questions to ask so that you actually get the answers that you need to make good decisions um, for how to move forward with your adoption okay one of the things that you'll hear a lot on social media is people will tell you you know the first thing you need to do when you start your adoption is to do your home study and I want to tell you after all these years of being an adoption professional that is not true the first thing you should do when you are doing your adoption is to actually know all the different options you have and to be so confident in that that you actually know the right path that you need to take because you know all of your options okay a lot of people end up spending a lot of money unnecessarily and spending a lot of time chasing kind of these rabbit holes of different ways that they can do the adoption that it doesn't work it ends up taking them three years four years and they're still stuck in the process so not knowing where to invest is the number three reason why you may be stuck with knowing where to start with your adoption right where do I get the right information well I have good news for you and this is the special announcement that I have for you guys today I am launching my four-week life course it's called the kingdom adoption launchpad okay this is my signature course and during this four-week life course I am going to equip you with the tools the knowledge and the support that you need to start your adoption journey confidently and to create create an adoption blueprint that is right for your family. So over the course of the four weeks, we're going to cover an overview of the different types of adoptions available to you. We're also going to talk about all the different ways that you can adopt a child. We're going to help you create a personal adoption plan that aligns with your family's views, your family's goals, and where you want to be in the next year or two. And so you have a comprehensive roadmap on how to start your adoption for your family okay so no more trying to figure out where do i go how do i fit this information and that's what we'll do in this course i will help you figure out how to take all this information that you've learned i'm going to help you get the right information and then we're actually going to process together and create an adoption blueprint with you for what type of adoption is best for your family and the path that you actually need to take to help you open up your home to a child in need and this is going to help you whether you're looking to do a newborn adoption a foster care adoption or international adoption the kingdom Adop adoption launchpad is for you the other amazing thing about the course is that you're going to get to connect with other like-minded hopeful adopted parents like you especially those who are believers and who really feel like God has called them to do this okay a lot of times what I find is that families who want to foster or adopt feel really alone in their communities because they just usually don't know a lot of families who are looking to do the same thing and so through this course you'll get to meet other families from all across the United to say who share the heart so that you have camaraderie you have community and you also get support for me so by the end of the four-week course the kingdom adoption lunch badge you're going to have a clear path to take for your family to start your adoption you'll have the confidence and the knowledge to do so as well so i want to invite you to join the kingdom adoption lunch pad just click the link below to get you can get access to it right now the doors open today or you can also type into your computer right now or your phone or wherever you're watching from kingdom adoption launchpad.com kingdom adoption launchpad.com or again i'll put the link in the description box below so that you can access it but guys this is so awesome i'm so so excited we'll be starting the course the last week of november and i cannot wait to see you guys there it's gonna be so fun so let's link arm together and let's embark on this adoption journey and i want to help you fulfill the call of god on your life for adoption for fostering and for opening up your home to vulnerable children in your community. All right, guys, I cannot wait to see you there. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.